everyone, it is Barry and welcome to the 20 by 15 mansion building challenge whatsoever. Basically, this challenge is about building a mansion on one of the smallest spots in The Sims, the 15 by 20 slot. And it was actually super hard. This is like the fourth or fifth house I built. I just didn't like any of them. And um, it, it took me so much time. It was so hard. I didn't think it would be because I'm better at building smaller houses. But somehow you still want to make it a big house because it's a mansion, you know. And you don't want it to be super tiny. So I tried to make it as, you know, big as possible. And take, you know, enough space for everything. Um, in the earlier houses that I tried, I left a lot of space for the gardening and the outside areas and the pool and, you know, stuff like that. But, you know, then the house got super tiny and the mansion isn't small. <laughs> um, as always, I struggled with the roofing. I find the roofing in The Sims 4 so hard. I don't know how you guys see it, but it's just... It doesn't work for me. There are people making beautiful things with the roofs, but I just can't. I am struggling so bad with it. And especially with houses like that, where I build like the house first and then I try to make the roofing on the house that I made, uh, it's even harder. But I didn't want to change anything because I really liked the inside. And so yeah, I kind of needed to make the roof fitting to the uh, house. Uh, but I think it worked out quite okay. And I left it, you know, after like 20 minutes on the roof, I just left it the way it is and continued with the rest of the house. Um, because, you know, you know, don't struggle with something you're not good at. Just leave it, <laughs> leave it alone or make no roof at all. That's what I always tell myself. Um, in general, I kind of, it's not the most modern mansion. It's a pretty, you know, old rustical one with a lot of dark colors, a lot of brown, a lot of wood. Um, you know, just a typical mansion, like they always look like. I feel like they always kind of look the same. And I really, in the near future, want to do a huge ass modern mansion. But, you know, like I said in all the other videos, I'm so busy at work right now that big projects like this are just, you know, they're not manageable for me right now. But I will do it one day. One day I'll do it and I'll build a big house. Um, <laughs> on the outside, I really try to play with the uh, colors and patterns of the paintings a lot. I didn't, you know, want it to look super normal or standard and I didn't want to use the same wallpaper on the whole house. I uh, just wanted to play around a little, changed it a trillion times, changed it back, changed it, you know, back back to something else, search for, for new patterns. I, it was just awful. <laughs> I tested so many things, but I am quite happy with it in the end. Kind of like it. Um, I did add a few things to the walls outside later i don't know if i kept it in the video though because it's already long you know for me the video is already long it's 13 something minutes i don't even know but it's longer than my usual videos and it's longer than i think most of the people will watch you know um but if you jump right to the screenshots <laughs> or if you probably already jumped well and not even listening anymore then I'm fine with it because I understand 30 minutes is a pretty long time. Uh, what to say about the inside? Well, I kind of really like the inside. It's still big rooms. They're not super, super huge, but you know, it's a small mansion. It's just a 20 by 15 slot, so it can't be extremely big. 
but um, I think for that small lot, it's still okay. Um, it's for two sims, maybe a family and a kid, or pff, who knows, maybe two friends. I'm just recently I discovered Gossip Girl for me. I I I have to say I have never watched it before, but I could imagine. Blair and Serena living in here, you know, two besties having their own mansion and sharing, you know, this little house. And there are two bedrooms in the upstairs, so they could even easily live in here. Maybe I'm gonna do a cast for Serena and Blair. That would be awesome. I think I'm gonna make it. I don't know if I'm gonna make a video about it, but I'm definitely, I'm definitely going to make Serena and Blair and then I'm gonna let them move in here or maybe Nate and Chuck I don't know by the way who who's your favorite I know I'm super late with the Gossip Girl hype but I just started watching it like four weeks ago and I'm already nearly through with season five and I don't want to keep watching because I know it's gonna be over after season six uh, but I'm so in love with it so who's your fave? I love Nate. I just love him. Chase Crawford is so hot. Okay, I'm sorry. Short fangirl moment. I'm gonna shut up. <laughs> um, hmm. Oh, by the way, if if you watch this video still and still listen to me, um, what did I want to say? <laughs> I forgot. I was like, oh, by the way, and then I forgot what I wanted to say. Oh my god, that's so embarrassing. Mm, okay, I'm not gonna try to think about it. This will be exhausting. What did I talk about? I talked about Gossip Girl, and then I started off with something, by the way. Mm, okay, yeah. This is the kitchen, by the way. <laughs> um, I really... in. In like two seconds, I forgot my sentence. I forgot what I wanted to say. Oh, I'm getting so old. Um, oh wow, that confused me now. I'm so out of it. Do you know that when you just, you know, start a sentence and then in the middle of the sentence, you forget what you wanted to say? Super creepy. Um, yeah, okay. The kitchen is, uh, is quite big. For what I usually build. Usually my kitchens are super small. And there's just this little round like island in the middle. If you want to have a quick breakfast. And then here is the dining area. And I really wanted to have one. I could have made you know one big room. And I made a super super huge kitchen. With a middle sized dining area. But I really wanted to separate it. And then there's this huge room for, I don't know, parties and stuff. And then there's a the small kitchen for, or the, the big kitchen, but with the small eating area for quick meals. Because you're not always, you know, making big meals, sitting down and eat with everyone. Um, so this will be fine. And if there are already... All, all the only oh my god I'm so sorry if there are only two sims living in there uh, the two places will be enough um, in the living room I w really wanted to have this fireplace area where you can just chill in front of the fireplace and read some books and you can play some chess um, for fun or for learning reasons you know and then there's a small area where you can actually watch TV, but I didn't put in a too big of TV because it would kind of destroy this image of the, you know, of the whole house and this kind of old style. And, you know, being the Gossip Girl pro I am right now, I realized that they're not watching too much TV. So, uh, yeah, I think they don't need it. They, they'll go out and party. Um, the upstairs, I first thought of making it more modern because, you know, maybe an old couple lived in here, it was their mansion and now someone new bought it and they didn't renovate the downstairs, but maybe they would have renovated the upstairs, but then I, I just decided not to. Um, and made everything in the same kind of style and I really wanted to have those two closets in the wall there um two 
walk-in closets because they just look amazing and I I'm so looking forward to having a really big closet one day right now my clothes are just lying around wildly because I my closet is so small and I don't have enough space I don't know if you can feel me but I think you can I think every woman can but my closet is really really small and I can't afford to buy a new one because you know living alone paying rent and stuff it's hard um, outside I did my little plant area on the ground again I just love it so much and um, yeah I don't know I don't want to make a shrine or anything uh, but on the other hand it kind of looks like one doesn't it <laughs> uh, but I love it when all the plants are on the ground and you know it kind of looks still looks neat and like someone really wanted them to be there but it's Still doesn't look too mm, over decorated or like someone has put too much thought into it uh, I don't know if you know what I mean <laughs> uh, in the upstairs bathroom there's only the shower uh, therefore there's more space under the sink where they could put you know all their stuff and uh, their makeup and everything and it's the bathroom for both of them it's not a room you know masses bedroom bathroom um <laughs> uh this is the master's bedroom actually it's way bigger than the other one but i think they're both good bathroom bathrooms bedrooms because this one is a little bigger and it will have an office area but therefore the other one has the balcony so i think it doesn't really matter in which bedroom you'll be it will be amazing um yeah for the rest i think you know now i'm just decorating everything uh computer and stuff like that i did only use the rosebud sheet because um i didn't want to mother load it's so much money at once you know so i used the rosebud whenever i needed something at this point because i actually have some living in there and I don't want her bank account to explode. Um, downstairs, outside, I did a little bit of a relaxing space where you can sit with some greenery and, you know, enjoy the sun and just, I don't know, stalk people. I did think about, you know, putting a red carpet towards the door, but I couldn't figure out a way that I liked it. It was just too big and too much, and so I did not do it in the end yeah no i just didn't feel it i didn't feel it and uh now to the garden i just fill everything with some trees and plants bushes flowers whatsoever as always i'm using the white roses and this grass thingy <laughs> because i just love white uh, flowers and the red accents as always I feel like my gardens always look the same, but you know, if they look pretty, I'm okay with it. In the end, that's the most important thing, you know. Everything is supposed to look pretty. Oh yeah, and here I add the wall decorations to make the house more interesting. We will go into the screenshots. I hope you like the house and maybe you want to do the challenge too. So feel tagged if you want to do it and... Until then, I will see you in the next video. Have a great week. Bye.